us on this Friday. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 530. With more than 70 days left in 2023, we could soon see a new record for launches on the Space Coast in one year. This Starlink launch on Tuesday was the 57th blast off from Florida in 2023, tying the record for one year. SpaceX has done most of the heavy lifting by far. News 6's James Parvero looks at how we got here and the implications this could have down the line. And lift off. Go Falcon, go Star. The 57th go for launch in 2023 sets up a record breaking launch attempt this weekend. If another SpaceX mission gets off the ground as soon as 1023 Saturday night, it would be the unprecedented 58th launch this year on the Space Coast, with two months still left on the calendar. I never would have thought, A, we would have ever seen rockets landing at the Cape vertically like we do with SpaceX. And it was hard to believe a few years back we'd see this kind of a cadence. Stage one landing confirmed. CBS space consultant Bill Harwood credits SpaceX's reusability for setting new records. And no surprise, of all the commercial launch providers, SpaceX continues to dominate the competition. Of the 57 launches so far this year, only four have not been on SpaceX rockets. <laughs> The last time when a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket launched the first satellites for Amazon's internet constellation. With the potential for tens of thousands of internet beaming satellites in low Earth orbit, the FAA is warning Congress that by the mid-2030s, pieces of older satellites could possibly strike and kill someone. By 2035, if the expected large constellation growth is realized and debris from Starlink satellites survive re-entry, one person on the planet would be expected to be injured or killed every two years. Is this something people should be afraid of? No, I don't think so at all. SpaceX strongly disputes that report. They claim that their Starlinks are all designed to completely burn up in the atmosphere, and there have already been scores of Starlinks come in without any sign of anything coming down. And lift off of Starlink. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.